In this video, we're going to be discussing quickly some formal definitions that we will be using throughout the analysis of algorithms using probability. So the first one is our formal definition of expected value that you may have seen in your statistics class. This is that if you have a random variable x, you can compute the expected value by summing up the probability of each of the possible values multiplied by the value. A classic example might be if x represents the result from rolling a d6, a d6 meaning a six-sided die, the possible results of that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the probability that x equals any of those, I'm going to use i to represent any of the values, is equal to 1 over 6 if we assume that it's a fair die. You can compute the expected value of x by computing the summation over all of the values the probability that x equals that value times the value. This equals 1 sixth times 1 plus 1 sixth times 2 plus 1 sixth times 3 1 sixth times 4 plus 1 sixth times 5 plus 1 sixth times 6. And if you do out the arithmetic, you should get 3.5 for this. If we factored out the 1 sixth, we are adding up the first six digits, and you would get 6 times 7 over 2 times 1 sixth gives you 7 halves. That's a classic example. We aren't going to do much pure probability, though. We're more interested in finding the expected runtime. The expected runtime can be computed in the exact same way. We talk about how long does the algorithm take? What is the time for a given input or random event to have occurred, such as a random value being taken, times the probability that that event occurred. So this could be the probability that k is in a particular position in an array, like we did up here. Or it could be the probability of returning a certain value. Or it could be the probability of winning a coin flip. It could be really anything that we want it to be. So it's the probability of something occurring times the runtime of the algorithm when that something occurs. We'll see this applied to several problems in the future. Our last definition we're going to talk about is something called linearity. This is a property we've used many times already in, a different, in different contexts. It looks kind of fancy here, but it is a nice property of expected values. The idea is that if you're adding up two different expected values and maybe even multiplying them by constants. So this left-hand side, we have the expected value of ax1 plus bx2. You can distribute the expected value over the summation, distribute it over the summation, and factor those constants out. So we can get right as a times the expected value of x1 and b times the expected value of x2. This is a convenient property. In particular, we're going to use it in the more generalized form. If you had added up n of these, you can factor the expectation value out of the summation and vice versa. We'll use this several times while we're analyzing our various algorithms.